well uh, identifying and solving organizational problems uh, requires a, a systematic approach and a combination of analytical interpersonal and leadership skills i can share some steps you can take to identify and effectively solve organizational problems firstly uh, define the problem it's very important clearly articulate the the problem you are trying to solve be specific about the symptoms uh, root causes and impact of the organization use data and evidence to support your understanding of the problem that is very important second i would say gather information conduct research and and gather relevant information from various sources consult with employees teams and uh, stakeholders to to gain uh, diverse perspectives on on the on the issue uh then thirdly you know i think about uh, swot analysis you know conduct a swot analysis i'm sure you're aware of swot s w o t s stands for strengths w for weaknesses o for o, o, um, opportunities and t for threats so conduct a swot analysis to understand the internal and external factors influencing the problem uh then you know root cause analysis that's also very important identify the underlying causes of the problem uh using techniques like the uh you know i've read about the the five whys or or fishbone uh diagram um ishikawa uh, fishbone uh, diagram focus on uh addressing the the root causes rather than just treating symptoms so these five whys or fishbone uh, um, ishikawa diagram i mean you can get some information on google about about the same then um I, you can prioritize issues because that 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 is i would say very fundamental to most of the of the problems solving a mech are most critical and and prioritize them based on their impact on the uh, on the organization's goals and objectives uh, collaborate and communicate involve you know key stakeholders employees and teams in the problem solving process i mean it cannot be um, just a unilateral process it cannot be it, it done uh, solely by one individual so key stakeholders have to be involved yeah, and and employees and teams as well uh, communicate transparently about the problem uh, the the steps being taken and the expected outcomes uh brainstorm solutions uh, is is another way of looking at it encourage creative thinking and generate a variety of potential solutions consider involving cross functional teams to bring uh, diverse perspectives to the problem solving process uh then you know i also think about uh, evaluate options you know assess each solution based on feasibility cost time and potential impact consider short term and long term implications of each uh, each of those uh, each of those um, beg your pardon options uh implement solutions develop an action plan for implementing the the chosen solution clearly define roles and responsibilities for team members involved in the implementation then you know monitor and evaluate regularly monitor the progress of the implemented solutions that's very important collect feedback and data to evaluate the the effectiveness of the solutions uh finally you know adjust as required or needed be flexible and willing to adjust the solutions based on feedback and evolving circumstances 
continuously improve processes and adapt to change uh, changing organizational needs beg your pardon adapt to changing organizational needs uh, I, I yeah the, there is another you know uh, sort of um, uh, solution based uh, uh, technique I want I want to share with you uh, it's about you know learning from the process you know uh, conduct a a post implementation review to identify lessons learned you know apply insights gained from the problem solving process to improve future decision making and problem um, solving efforts so that that was the last sort of technique which i had um, read about and i had even applied in my organization in in the, in the in the past so you know these steps which i have shared with you uh, are very fundamental uh, and you know help in fostering a culture of continuous improvement and and this can lead to you identifying and solving organizational problems in in a more effective and sustainable manner that's more important than anything else you know effective and sustainable manner of resolution of organizational problems thank you